The greatest of them all. You know there's good news when the class president is smiling. Well, how was your first meeting with the teachers? The Immortal and Grunwald decided to visit each other with their students so we can all study together once in a while. And... Uh, we go to them first! Oh, <laughs> We've never visited another magic school before. Do you think we'll get along? Yes, will they like us? What if we get there and something goes wrong? Oh. Calm down. Everyone will have a great time. I just know it. We'll just have to make sure we're wearing the right color. For example, red. Red is the best color for getting noticed. We'll stand out so much they can't possibly forget us. What if we go wearing all black? That way, everyone will know we take our studies seriously. No, we should obviously wear red. Huh. Nocturna the Wise wears black, and she's the most respected wizard there is. But Rosa the Adept wears red, and everyone knows she's the greatest of all time. Let's not argue. Let's see what the magic mirror thinks we should do. The magic mirror? The one that Leshy made? Yep. Come. <laughs> these magic mirrors can do loads of things. Look, it says in these instructions that magic mirrors can produce magical sunshine bunnies as well. Oh. Had an idea. Got it! Stop still! Oops. Is it cracked? Mm, it looks all right. Oh, Mira, so radiant, tell me truly, please, who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch, Rosa or Nocturna? Hmm, Rosa and Nocturna are important for sure, but the most important and greatest of all is Yaga. Oh, no. Do you realize what this means? That we should wear green when we go? Like Yaga? It means the mirror is broken, and I bet the teachers are not going to be happy about that. We'll need a special spell to repair it. A mirror spell should do the trick, and for that we'll need a singing frog's reflection. <laughs> the blue raven's reflection. <laughs> and some chicken moss. <laughs> What's so funny? I said I'd clean up and I will. Sometime this week, or next week. Huh? Those kids! Now we've got the potion, the mirror will definitely work. Shh. Oh, Mira, so radiant, tell me truly, please. Huh? Who is really the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Thank you for the potion. Much better, now I can see clearly. I know the answer, and the greatest witch of all is her for sure. Rosa? Nocturna? Nonsense. It's Baba Yaga. Impossible! <laughs> That's not news. I already knew that. Thanks to the mirror, now everyone else will, too. Where's my mirror? <laughs> Stop! Give us back that mirror! <laughs> the Sunshine Bunny! Sunlight Fold, hop where you're told! Hop to Baba Yaga's broom! See that? Even the bunnies love me now. <laughs> oh, oh! Wait! Stop still! Stop still! I caught it! Hooray! Give me my mirror! The world has to know the truth! Where'd you go? Aha! There you are! What's going on? Oh, well, so much for my mirror. <sighs> I think she's gone. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why the mirror still isn't working. Oh, it's the monster! Help! It's okay. It's me, the protector of the forest, Leshy. We met before, you know. What's brought you all the way out to the middle of my woods? <sighs> we were just trying to fix the magic mirror. You broke it? It doesn't look broken. 
but we can make another one, just in case, as a spare. <clears throat> Here you go. Give it a try. <gasps> Who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Yoga! To tell the truth, I think Baba Yaga is the greatest. She helps moss and berries grow. She even cares for weeds and toadstools. Also, her swamp soups are delicious. Oh, <laughs> I was just passing through. Come by for soup. I also make moss stew with boiled roots. We'll stop by later. For magic mirrors, the person who matters most to the maker is the greatest. Want to try making one? I can show you how. Yes, we please. do. Yeah. Miro, tell me truly, who is the greatest witch of all? Marlene. Yeah, Marlene always has good advice, and she's always been around to help. I think I see now. The clothes we wear don't matter. It's what we do while we wear them. The color of our clothes doesn't make us great. It's all in the actions we take. And we know they love botany at Grunwald School, so we'll take them on magical plants. That's a wonderful idea. I'm sure Grunwald will be delighted at your thoughtfulness. Slipshod. Marlene! 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 <laughs> Look, I got some plumberry seeds from Sunsea. Plumberries are the very best ever. I also love plumberry jam. Why don't we plant these? <laughs> Yay! Marlene. How long will it take? Can they be done by lunch? Or dinner? Rooney, dear. <laughs> I should sleep here so that I don't miss it. It takes several days for plumberry trees to grow. And longer for berries to appear. Well, can't we do something to uh, make them grow faster? Oh. There is a growing elixir we could add, but it takes a while to brew. And I still need to check your herbariums. Oh, I can make the elixir. Pretty please? With the cherry on top? Of course. But follow the recipe exactly, with no shortcuts. Making the elixir slipshod won't get you anywhere. Three tricolor petals. One, two, three. Rooney! <laughs> Focus. Ten blades of fast-growing grass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Rooney! Huh? We're going to play skip ball. Want to join? I'm coming! Just give me a... Oh, still got to add. 100 drops of rainbow. Counting those will take forever. I'll just guess. Allow it to steep. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hot soup right out of the oven. Thanks. Thank you. And what a great game. But we were only able to skip three balls. And we skipped 15, so we win. I love playing skip ball. It's so fun. And I love this soup, too. Ugh. It's amazing. <laughs> hey, you! Get away from our soup! Stop! Hey, don't do that! Stop it! Come here! I'm gonna get you. There, gotcha! Hey, you! Stop right there! Oh! Oh! oh. You didn't see them, but they were so round! And they made a noise like slipshod! Right? Girls? Oh. We believe you, Rooney. Would a necklace make you feel any better? I made it by hand. The green one? Yeah! How beautiful! It's pretty! May I have one too? <gasps> Them again! There they are! Rooney, wait! <laughs> hey! Stop! Get back here! Ooh. I'll show you! Uh, wait! Hey! <laughs> uh, Rooney! Quiet! Look in there! Do you see them? I don't, but I believe something's there. I told you, and they keep saying slipshod. We can't see them. Only you can, but we will find out what they are. Where are you going? Sometimes you can look up magic creatures by the sounds they make. 
So if these guys say slip and shard... <gasps> I found them! Slip shards appear when someone makes messy or slip shard magic. So somebody made a messy spell and now we all have to suffer? Slip shards can only be seen by the one who made them. And only I can see them. So only you can fix this. <gasps> magic cleaning! Vaggy! <laughs> If you do things slipshod, things may turn out messy or salty like that soup. Or your necklace might break. Here, this time I actually followed the recipe. And here's the result. <laughs> the Frog Stone. Don't open it yet. Let me guess what's inside. <laughs> It's Thumbelina, who is actually your secret second cousin. No, wait. It's Tom Thumb. Okay, now I'm ready to see. No tiny boys in here. I hope Levon and Vasco aren't nearby either. Here. It's my grandmother's frogstone ring. <gasps> wow, it's really beautiful. And it's magical, too. Just touch the stone and you'll turn into a frog right away. <gasps> Ribbit. Whoa. Touch it again and you'll turn back to normal. That's so cool. Traditionally, you only wear this on All Swamps Day. But now I have to wear it every day. Since the boys got here, I've been so nervous that I keep turning into a frog. Worse, the timing is... Ribbit? Goodness, not again. Turning into a frog is dreadful, isn't it? Big deal. So you turn into a frog. You can jump and croak and swim around. You're making a mountain out of a toadstool. I mean, molehill. You have no idea what it's like. Rooney, I could barely croak before something happens. It's so embarrassing. Surrender, beast, <laughs> or I'll turn you into a toad. <laughs> oh, no. The boys. I have to get out of here. Calm down. No hiding. I have a plan. Just put on your ring and you can rib it. You'll see it's going to be fine. You don't get it at all, Rooney. Don't go, Lisa. Why is everything bigger? Did I touch Lisa's ring and turn into... A frog! Look, Levon! Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. It has a crown on its head. Maybe it's a water sprite. So pleased to meet you. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, in El Dorado, frogs were a lot of fun. They were always racing around the ponds, while the Wondermont frogs are kind of lazy. Don't you think they look so bored? Why don't we make a race for them? Excellent idea. I'll bet on the frog with the crown. She looks like she could win. Actually, I'm a princess. And I'm probably going to be too. Soon I'll tell Lisa that being a frog was cool. So learn from me while you can. On your mark, get set, rip it! <sighs> One more try. Come on! I got off on the wrong foot. I want a re-jump. Rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. Oh, uh. How is 
Lisa so good at jumping? This is really uh, so hard. Uh, uh, I'm jumped out. Mm, maybe she's better at swimming. She is a water sprite. Want to try? Mm, no, thank you. I need to go find Lisa. You're lucky I'm out of shape. Rib by it. Rooney? Rooney? Where are you? I'm so sorry. I just got scared, that's all. Lisa! Lisa! I'm here! Right here! Nobody understands me! I croaked and croaked, but... Ah! <laughs> Welcome, dear passenger, to Wondermont Airlines. Next stop, the pond next to my hut. Hmm. Could I please have a moment to myself, uninterrupted? No wonder frogs are always hiding out in the swamp. Ah. Ah. Ha! Welcome home. It'll be crowded, but nice. My very own pond and statue. It does have a habit of breaking. But the magic is reliable. You can't run away. You'll put on frog concerts every evening. Oh, it's broken again. I expect good singing with harmonies. I won't tolerate sour notes. If I can't jump out, I'll have to fall out. All right, friends, the time has come. We're getting out of here. Jump after me. To the left, to the right. Don't just sit there. Come on, ribbit, ribbit. Uh. Huh? What is going on? Where are you going? Wait, wait, wait. Ah! Ah! Stay with ah! me! You can be a soloist! I'll make you a star! Careful! Look out! Hey, you! Who taught you how to fly? Oh, flying frog! Ah! That's our frog with the crown! She's flying! Lisa! I'm coming your way! Ah! Ah! Did you see that? She nailed that landing! Let's include this in the competition. to me. First, I almost won a real frog race. Then I got captured and joined a frog choir. And finally, that raven who can't even fly properly. Wait a moment. I don't understand. But I understand. Being a frog is really hard. Please forgive me for not believing you. Of course I forgive you. Ribbit. Ribbit. But the boys are going to laugh at me. <sighs> I lost that race and I fell in the water. Well, let them make fun of us both. When you're with a good friend, it's not so bad. <gasps> Wow, that was awesome! Can you teach us that spell, please? I want to fly on a raven and then use it like a diving board. <laughs> Listen, Rooney, it's a long jump, not high. You're not a grasshopper. Boys, you need to be careful this time. It's not winning if you break something. Ready, set, go! <laughs> I have some news. There will be a magical talent show here at our school tomorrow afternoon. And I expect that you girls will have no problem competing for the top prize. Hooray! This is great! I'm so excited! I wonder where the final round of the contest will take place. When I get there, I'll send you a postcard. Maybe you should try winning before making victory plans. For this competition, we're all rivals. So if any of you forget a spell, don't expect for me to help you. Good thing I don't need your help. Girls, last night I heard a song in my dream. Let's sing together. Ah, every, every princess, princess for herself. herself. It's my one-of-a-kind acrobatic talent. Come on, step right up. You'll be amazed. I plan to utilize my studies and knowledge. I will answer any question from the Encyclopedia of Magic. Well then, why don't we begin training? I will impress everyone with my new dress. Come along, magical needles. Go to work. Mirror, mirror, full of light. Bring my copies to light. Yay, it worked. Now we can sing my song.
What? Did they forget who the true talent of Wondermont is? Here's a gift from me. With this, all magic within your school will cease to work properly. <laughs> and then I alone will take the stage. Baba Yaga on her broom. What beautiful music. It must be Helen. <gasps> What's that? Someone crying? Is Owl stuck in a trumpet? I'm sure Helen is merely tuning her instruments. Don't be alarmed, Professor. They are rehearsing. That's enough! Stop! Don't you like the author? Um, it was more like a small disagreement. That wasn't the deal. Not to worry. It's under control. Stop it! I told you to stop! Someone help me! Chapter, we attempted levitation using only one's mental capabilities. Ah, help me! Over here! Ah. What's happening? Ah. Girls, what's going on? Something is happening to my spells. Mine as well. Same here. It seems that none of us are doing well. And I said, every princess for herself. We all did. Yes, and now our magic won't work. Hmm, what do we do? Even my tiara has run away! Tiara, please come back to me! Here you go, Lisa. <gasps> Girls, I have an idea! Let's perform without our magic! We could work together! The Ball Act! What? They found a way? Thank you, girls. What color hood does Little Red Riding Hood wear? Enough! It's my turn! A trick question. Now that dark blue is in fashion, the girl known as Little Red Riding Hood only wears blue hoods. Hey, don't forget me! The most talented act in all of Wondermont! Go, Broom! I said go on! Come on! What is the matter with you? <laughs> Giddy up, partner! What was that? Uh, it was an odd comedy routine with a horse. You may carry on, girls. the one who turned off the magic in the school. And my magic, too. For adventure and freedom you long. I could read until the coming of the bright dawn. What we want is all so different, it seems. Together we can do it all So take my hand and step into the light Right now our dreams are taking flight As long as you are by my side I know the magic won't ever die Step into the light Right now our dreams are taking flight This is the first time I haven't seen any magic Used in this contest. I know the magic will never die. You've impressed us with the most important magic, the magic of friendship. And so all the princesses will go to the final round. <laughs> magic paint box. No way. We're not sprucing up our dome with any of this. What about me? Don't you think I would look cool in your dormitory? <gasps> Helen, you're the best at spells today. <laughs> we're all doing so well. It won't be long before we're great wizards. 
great wizards, you say? I'm shocked by your insolence. Soon we'll even be able to defeat Baba Yaga. Oh! Now, that's a bit too much. You clearly need taking down a peg or two. <gasps> that painting, I saw it move. Hachi, you frightened us. <laughs> you can move in and out of paintings? Awesome! Hello. I know the perfect way to spruce up our dome. I will paint the picture of us to hang on the wall of our room. Hmm. That's not such a bad idea. My own painting collection. <laughs> Girls, take some blank canvases and bring them to our dome. There are some paints here as well. Shall we? Yes, I've almost run out of red in my set. Whoa! Paint faster! I told you to hold the ball in your hands! Goalkeepers only touch the ball with their hands. I'm a forward! Oh, you can lower your foot now. Hooray! Huh? Where did Rooney's ball go? I finished painting it, and then it disappeared. How strange. Once I finish painting something, then it disappears and floats into the canvas. These paints are enchanted. Enchanted? By who? This person. No! Stop it! Don't finish it! Baba Yaga. Let's take the painting to Mr. Immortal. We'll get magic credit for it. What's that? What is she doing? <gasps> take me to Mr. Immortal? <gasps> I don't think so. Why did you try to trap us in a painting? To make you stop thinking that soon you'll be better wizards than me. You've no idea who you're competing with. You're really good at drawing. But to finish the portrait, you still need to make a few more brush strokes. And I know how to fix this. I've got an extra brush right here. <gasps> I'll take you home and then hang you up on my wall so you can observe a truly great wizard at work. <laughs> How can we get out of here? We're stuck! We need a magic cloth. It's not working. Here, let me rub it harder. It won't work, you know. Rub all you want. You're not going anywhere. My cloth was magical, and yours is some ordinary junk. <laughs> Time to take you to your new home. Another way out. If only we could move in and out of paintings like Ochi. Theoretically, I think we can. Since we're in here, then we should all be able to move from one painting to another. That's right. What? You ran away? Come back. Come back here right now. Where did you go? We need to find Archie while still looking out for Baba Yaga. Archie, help us! We need the cloth on the dorm room floor to wash away these paintings of us. Archie, we need you. We'll explain later. We'll be okay now. So you prefer a landscape? No! Hideous! How dare you! Get out of that painting! 
I'm not hanging this on my wall. <gasps> all right, fine. You beat me this time. But just so you know, you're all still terrible wizards. And thank you as well to the widely smiling Mr. Immortal. You helped us a lot, too. Now I think I know which painting we should hang in our dorm. <laughs> <laughs> the Seven League Boots. Rooney, you need to improve your grades. Otherwise, you'll have to retake all of your exams. All of my exams? Every single one of them. <sighs> oh, dear. Now I'm even having nightmares about retaking everything. Today we are holding a magical race. To finish in first, just pick up the pace. And if you can finish ahead of the pack, then there's a good chance you won't be held back. Huh? The professor said so himself. <laughs> well, not in verse. I turned it into poetry myself. <gasps> a race? Now's my chance. If I go fast, then I can pass. Are we late or is Bruni early? I don't remember you ever coming to class before us. Is it surprising? I'll have you know that I love learning. Good morning. Let us continue our lesson on magical transportation. It's not always possible to use magic from a distance. Therefore, should someone require urgent magical intervention, such as an emergency rescue? Precisely. In such dire situations, we use this method, the wonderful magic of transportation. Today, you are being given a rare opportunity to prove your skills and speed. Have a look outside. Oh, wow! Those boots! They're prettier than I had ever imagined! Oh? <laughs> You'll be divided into teams. Then we'll prepare the race. Uh, uh, oh. I choose a stove. It can go anywhere and it's as fast as the wind. I'll take the seven league boots. If anyone knows shoes, it's me. If you'd read the chapter on aerodynamics, you'd know the flying carpet is the faster one. Perhaps, but I've flown a carpet before. I'd like to try the stove now. <laughs> Good. It seems we have our teams decided. Now, allow me to remind you of the rules. Whoever's magical transport crosses the finish line first will be awarded the highest score. And won't have to retake exams. Yes, you won't have to retake exams. Yes, okay, let's go. Here, Lisa, let me help you. Oh, thank you, Rooney. What's wrong, girls? Uh, nothing. Everything's just fine. Good. Get set and go! What's wrong with her? Nothing. It must be a shortcut, but that breaks the rules. If we follow her, then we'll lose. We need more firewood. There's no way I'm losing this race. Gather ye tall stools while ye may. Stop that! I'm sorry. I'm not doing this on purpose. The boots won't stop. Now you've done it. Run to the enchanted swamp. At least while you're stuck there, you won't be able to trample my garden. Bruni, I'm worried about Lisa. Dorma, we're so close to winning this. It's not our fault Lisa didn't train harder. I agree with the part about Lisa, but you're wrong about who will win. <laughs> we'll see about that. Someone help! What's wrong, Lisa? I can't control the boots anymore. What's happening? <laughs> Your boots unzipped. That must be why I can't control them. And Mama Yaga sent me to the swamp. Oh, no. This is all my fault. Hold on, Lisa. We'll save you. <laughs> run, run. Into the swamp where you belong. Ah! Oh, now it's the two of you on the stove. Someone oh. help me. I'll teach you a lesson. First is your boots. Then you use your stove to crush my toadstools. Lisa, take my hand. <laughs> Since the race is over, the rescue mission begins now. I'll show you both. Bruni, help me! <laughs> Stubborn shoes. Take them off or we'll end up in the swamp. If you want to be in the swamp so bad, go ahead, but not with us. 
Oh, Rooney, thank you for saving me. Aha, gotcha. Oh. Now to teach you a lesson. Come on. Uh, 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 what? I'm the one sinking. Girls, what took so long? Why was the flying carpet the only one on time? On top of that, where is the stove? And the Seven League Boots. Professor, it's my fault. I was in such a hurry that I broke the boot zipper. I didn't tell anyone and put Lisa in danger. I'm sorry. You know, you could have told me. But you saved me from Baba Yaga. So of course I forgive mm. you. And Rooney caught up with the boots. It's all thanks to Rooney's speed. Well, well, it seems that I missed some interesting events. Professor, Baba Yaga is stuck. <gasps> Remember the purpose of magical transport. It is meant to be used to save those in dire need. That's why we use races for training purposes. Therefore, since you saved Lisa, Rooney will receive the highest grade. Hooray! But if you don't start studying, no extra credit will prevent you from retaking classes. And of course, you must also <laughs> clean up the mess left over from your adventures. Are we all clear? I promise to apply my speed to cleaning up. And I'll also repair the boots and help fix Baba Yaga's garden. Oh, and will you sweep out my heart? <laughs> I didn't clean because of your antics. You can fix the roof, too. And clean the cauldron. And take out the trash. <laughs> ah. Flower power. Oh, nobody ever remembers me. Nobody says a word. Oh. <laughs> Under my uh, direction, you might say. Actually, the girls did it all by themselves. Aren't they lovely? Ah, indeed. These are wonderful tulips. What place do you think we will win? Isn't it obvious, sir? We'll win first place. No doubt about it. Ah? Uh -huh. Hmm. We've never been able to win first place before. True, because we've never been in the contest. That's the reason why. Nevertheless, first place or not, these flowers look absolutely fantastic. My gratitude to our fine instructor. Oh, thank you, Mr. Immortal. But the girls did all the work. I've got mail. It's a card, but I wonder who it could be from. Let's find out. Hmm. To our dear Miss Baba Yaga. Look at the spelling. D-E-E-R. It's supposed to be D-E-A-R. What is this? We would all like to wish you, our beloved old woman, the happiest of birthdays. Huh? You wrote this, didn't you? Huh. So that's how it is. I am only 280 years old, and you're calling me an old woman? Hmm. You can have your card back. Just imagine. What if we really do win first prize? I think Marlene was just being nice to us. I mean, it's a flower contest for all the magic schools in the world. Hmm. Does it really matter that much to all of you whether or not we win? Yes, it does. Flowers shouldn't be for contest. What are they for, then? Flowers are what knights give to the fair ladies. Hmm. What knights are those? You've been reading too many stories. So what if I have? What's wrong with that? It's romantic. I wish there were boys at our school. No, thank you. Ugh. My brothers never gave flowers. I know. Knights only live in fairy tales. <sighs> it's a shame. Oh, goodness! Look over there! It's a knight! How can that be? Rooney, did you just summon up a knight? Did you do that just to tease us? I didn't summon anything. Uh-huh. As if I would believe that. Whatever. Stop arguing, girls. He's walking toward our flowers. Then, does he want to give them to Lisa? I don't understand. Why would he give me flowers? Let's find out. Hurry! It's too late. Our poor flowers. He took them and left. Then does that mean that they weren't for me after all? Shh! Do you hear that clanking? That's him! Uh, why is the witch's hut here? Oh, no! The hut is the one who picked our flowers, and the knight is saving them! <gasps> Archie! Yes! 
It was him all along. He was listening to us and went off to find a real knight. Hmm. He was trying to do something nice for us. Was he? Did it ever occur to him that we have a contest? Award you the order of, um, what do you call it? Flower power. Mm -hmm. Hooray! 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 Girls, who has a barrette? What for? To use for a medal. Actually, order is an honorary society, so the barrette isn't necessary. It is. Our order definitely needs one. <laughs> Thank you, Archie. Well done, Archie. Look! Baba Yaga's hut dropped this. I saw it. A card for Baba Yaga. It's her birthday. So then, the hut wanted to give her a present. I sort of lost my temper. So, um, thank you for the birthday card. <clears throat> uh? We wanted to wish you a happy, happy birthday. birthday. What? Don't be afraid. He's from the Order of Flower Power. He's here to say happy birthday, too. Happy birthday! Oh, well, what a lovely surprise, girls. Thank you. All this kindness and I have nothing to share. I didn't prepare anything. But not to worry, I'll whip up some leech soup right away. Uh, um... You do like leech soup, don't you? So the angle formed by ABC equals the angle formed by CAB. And that is how you prove this particular theorem. Did you get all that? Sure, we got it. Ah, wonderful. Uh, by the way, what did you girls think of Baba Yaga's leech soup? <laughs> what else did she have to offer you girls? She had some treats for us, eclairs and donuts. And little tots, too. I think I like the Napoleons most of all. <laughs> they were delicious. <laughs> Kidding the teachers. Ah, your pumpkin is growing wonderfully. We'll try turning it into a carriage later, like Cinderella. <laughs> Look what I grew. No one will be able to sleep well on this pea pod. No, no, you must make the peas ordinary. Fairy tale standards. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> what have we here? Uh, well, these plants are invisible eggplants. Invisible? Hmm, I figured as much. A Forest Beauty Cosmetics magazine. You're too young to concern yourself with such things. Oh, but my grandmother has a birthday coming up, and she loves this sort of thing. Oh, while kindness is admirable, you're in class right now. Please try to focus on your studies. <gasps> they really grew! Mm -hmm. They're ripe too! Well done, Daria! Professor Grunwald will be thrilled! He thought this variety of apple was lost forever! Who's that? Professor Grunwald? A professor of magical botany! I'm so glad Al kept those old seeds! Girls, Daria managed to grow rejuvenating apples! Oh, aren't mine as good? Why, Dorma, whatever do you mean? Your apples are wonderful as well! They're just like your fairy tale! Try my apples! Mmm! These apples taste like no other. They're very special. Perfect for apple pie. What do you think? A rejuvenating apple lotion. Grandmother would be thrilled. I'll only pick a few. There you are. <gasps> Where were you? I, uh, uh... Never mind. Let's go. I've got the sugar right here. Here it is. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is a real feast. The girls have done a wonderful job. May I please have this piece? Mmm, mm, this is magnificent. These apples are... They're from the magic apple tree. <gasps> oh. 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 <gasps> <gasps> hey! 
Give me some more. That pie was the bomb. What's happened to them? I did this. It's all my fault. My rejuvenating apples got into the pie. Oh, no. And I was so excited to find them. We didn't have enough. I don't understand. Why did you pick them? It wasn't many. I only picked a few. Hey, let's play tag. There's a teacher's meeting, and it's starting now. Ah! What kind of meeting? A fairy tale optic session. Professor Grunwald is waiting. <gasps> what should we do? It'll be fine. Take the kids to the office. Stall the meeting for half an hour. And I'll look for a way to reverse the spell. Wondermont, please come in. Wondermont, can you hear me? <laughs> oh. If things go wrong, I can create some static. Deal. Here we go. Did you request a video call? Did something happen? Mr. Immortal, I'm listening. Whoa, you need something or what? Tell them about our garden, how it's totally off the hook. Make it sound really cool. Right, got it. Okay. Our garden is slain at one uh -huh. month school. Our botany skills totally rule. The plant things are growing. Magical knowledge. Rock and the berry. Uh -huh. yeah, don't stop. Our garden is hot. Now our students will report on their successful botany projects. Uh, oh, uh, we've achieved tremendous success with uh, growing these princess peas here. And a pumpkin carrot. And rejuvenating apples. Rejuvenating apples? But that variety died off ages ago. The scientific community will not tolerate fraud. Claims that cannot be backed up with proof will result in the school being disqualified and its license revoked. I've got your proof. Our teachers tested out the apples for, uh, scientific reasons. Experimenting on themselves? Such admirable dedication. And I assume the antidote was prepared in advance? But of course. Uh, uh hello, hello. We can't hear you. Uh, it's a bad connection. Uh, what? Oh, dear. Phew. Close one. Well, you done? Almost. <sighs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Ta-da! Who shall go first? Me! Let me try. It could make you older. But still, we mustn't experiment on the children. It didn't work. The potion needs to cool off. Oh, uh, you're back now. <laughs> well, due to my immortality, these things don't actually work on me. In this case, I wanted to see how you girls would get yourselves out of such a, uh, uh such a curious predicament. And you did well. Where's my mummy? One moment. Let's get back to rescuing the teachers. Helen the Fair, if you would, please. Oh, thank you. I was quite thirsty. Mr. Immortal, can we please leave the professor this way? Look, he's so cute and playful. <laughs> <laughs> and review paragraphs 9 through 49. Wrong one. Ah, oh. Here it is. <laughs> I still think you should delete... My childhood has come to an end. The antidote won't. <gasps> oh, no, Lisa. Oh. <gasps> Don't worry. It's only a mask. You see? <laughs> the Magical Repair Shop. Hey, listen. I don't get it. Why are you so sensitive? You stepped on my foot five years ago and I didn't say a thing. Not a word. Not even a peep. I forgave you right away, remember? <coughs> Fire, water, earth, and air. And then I need... Aha! Mm -hmm. Easy as pie. And I learned how to paint. Water and fire. Can someone explain why we're doing this? They dragged in junk from the basement and it's all right, now fix it. Are we training to open a repair shop? I like it. Just a little more and we'll have a wonderful pot. Mm-hmm. Congrats on your wonderful pot. You're just angry because you can't fix anything yourself. Who, me? I just don't want to waste my time on this. And the professor said this was an optional assignment. Hup. So do it if you want or don't. Either way, I'm out of here. Playing outside in the fresh air, that's what I recommend. You can join me if you want to. <laughs> Got it. Guess nobody else is coming. 
Emma, fine. All right, enough already. Uh, oh, truce. I owe you an, an uh. Oh, what if I kick and use a spell at the same time? Why didn't I think of this before? Now, if only I can remember the spell. Uh, fly high like an arrow. Something. Hmm. Up to the sky, maybe. Oh, you're making this so difficult. Maybe you'll grace the sky. Okay, kapow! Wow, we. <sighs> it's all because you took offense. You could be at home, your chimney would still be in place, and I was about to say, well, I almost said it, but don't rush me. I nearly apologized. Ah, what's the matter? We'll fix your chimney. <laughs> After all, I'm the strongest magic user of all. Oh. oh! That's not the spell. Wait a minute. Hold on. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Oh! <laughs> Looks like I set the wrong process in motion. How do I stop it? I've got to stop it now. My dear sweetheart, don't get any smaller. Wait just a moment. I'll be back. What happened to it? <laughs> you could almost send it to kindergarten. Did I do that? The ball hit the chimney and there must have been something important in there. Oh no, what did I do? My magic can be a bit, well, it's hard to explain. Uh, how do I put it? Um, Destructive, perhaps? Yes, and now I'm trying to be, you see, um, hmm. Well, Constructive, it seems. Yes, that's it. I can't do it. Please help me. Help your old friend. When exactly were we ever friends? Well, 200 years ago. Don't you remember? I was a cute little blonde girl. Huh? Hmm. Please, Mr. Immortal, you must hurry. It's going to disappear. I won't play any dirty tricks, I promise. For a week. No, a month. A month. Two months. Hmm? <sighs> Rooney? What's the matter? I'm afraid that I really messed up and recited a spell wrong and, well, I knocked the chimney off Baba Yaga's hut and then it started to shrink. You did? Mm-hmm. What does the chimney have to do with it? Maybe there was something important inside it. What do you mean? But girls, I feel sorry for it. It's going to be so tiny soon. What can we do? It's simple. We were just studying all kinds of repairs today. Of course, my book. Yes, here it is. Ah, look. Yes, yes, that's the spell. Can you help me, girls? Of course, let's go. <laughs> wow, it's tiny. Hello, don't be alarmed. Come on, girls. <laughs> Little to the left, right there. Be careful. All right, Rooney, begin now. Mm -hmm. Fire, water, earth and air. Each has magic everywhere. Hooray! Well done, Rooney. Shall we give it a try? <laughs> Come on now, grow! <gasps> uh, uh, it's all my fault. Please forgive me. I'm the one who broke your chimney. We tried to fix it, but... Mm, actually, it, uh, it broke all by itself. What do you mean? You're making this difficult. Well, are you satisfied? Huh? Oh. Oh. Ah! That's what happened. Well done, girls. I was certain you were going to fix the chimney either way. Well, yes, and we just had extra practice today on, well, on how we can repair anything, but... Yes, right, exactly what I mean. Yes, but it didn't help. The hut is still small. That is for a completely different reason. Did it. Thank you. Time to go. Hut, let's head home. Don't forget your promise. I had my fingers crossed. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Incorrigible. Midnight magic. <gasps> Ooh, is it a new spell? I'm not sure yet. 
What do you think it could be? We must find out. <gasps> it's a giant piece of candy. Uh -huh. It's not candy, Rooney. You see? It's a frame for photographs from a sea trip. Oh, you're both wrong. It's not candy or a frame. This is a giant gemstone. I'm sure of it. I know a thing or two about gems. A gemstone shaped like this is called a princess cut. Well, in that case, this could be a spell to create gemstones. That's what it has to be. I agree. Let's make gemstones. I want a giant one as big as my notebook. Mm -hmm. As big as a pot. A teapot. Daria, what are you waiting for? The perfect setting. It's very important that the spell is cast in the right place at the right time. Of course, and I think the right time is now. Let's see what the directions say. In between two days, in a very special place. A place where the walls have knowledge. What does that even mean? In a place where the walls have knowledge. Hmm. Sounds like the library. Uh, between two days must mean at the stroke of midnight. Hmm. Can we do it earlier? We're not allowed to stay up till midnight. Well, then maybe we could sneak out just before midnight. <laughs> what about Archie? If he saw we were gone, he'd go tell Mr. Immortal. Mr. Immortal, look what Archie just showed me. This is a ghost chessboard. It was a gift he got on his birthday. Hmm, beautiful, isn't it? And convenient, too. The pieces move themselves. You don't even have to touch them at all. <laughs> and do they think on their own as well? We'll see. Archie needs to check on the girls. In the meanwhile, we can play a game if you'd like to. And then Archie can play whoever wins. Right. What is at E2? The King's Pawn, Mr. Immortal. Well, then go ahead. What are you waiting for? I'm so tired of that noise. Wish it would stop. We're going to end up with headaches all day tomorrow. He's gone, it worked. Woo! Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> 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 I'm worried. I hope Archie's all right. All your clones out there might frighten him. You can't scare a ghost. Archie's a scary one. <laughs> On this night, with the timing just right, the darkness we oppose. Shine the light, gemstone bright, and clear away the shadows. Oh, how beautiful it is. Would it be all right if I take a little piece of it? Dorma, of course not. We can't destroy it. I know, I'm just kidding. We couldn't anyway. Look how hard that stone is. Actually, gemstones only appear to be hard. If you crack their weak spot or flaw, they fall apart easily. See? I told you, I know a thing or two about gems. What's going on, Mr. Immortal? I don't know. Well, that's interesting, because I'd have your queen in two more moves. Professor, I have nothing to do with it. Something's gone wrong. Let's go. What do we do with it? We can hang it in our dormitory and admire it. Hey, what are those thingies? Oh, looks like a ghost chess set. Archie's. But why is it in there? It's stuck inside the gemstone and can't get out. I've got it. This spell is typically used to clear a place of ghosts. So then basically, this is a trap for ghosts. Good thing we sent Archie out into the woods. Otherwise... <gasps> no! Go away! Archie, go now! Daria, do something fast! I don't know how! We smashed it in time. Well done, Dorma. Sorry, Archie. Girls, there you are. What are you doing up at this hour? Hmm. It's a trap for ghosts. Well, fancy that. I thought we destroyed all these spells. We got rid of every copy when we employed Archie. Isn't that true? That's what I recall. But perhaps one of the copies survived. You know how hard they try to escape. Not this time. So the question remains. Who among you cast this spell? 
I did, Mr. Immortal. No, not just Storia. We all did it together. We hope you'll forgive us, sir. I admire your curiosity and your desire to try things out for yourselves. But you gave Archie quite a fright. Uh-huh. So a ghost can be scared after all. Let's hope you've learned your lesson. In the future, don't cast a spell unless you know what it is for. We will bring it to you first. Wherever you are. And we won't try to cast it. Very good, well done. Tomorrow, we will go through every book in the library. Then, we'll make sure there definitely aren't any more loose spells hanging about. But Mr. Immortal, today is Saturday. And tomorrow is Sunday. So you girls will have all day long to complete the task, won't you?